Whether you're in sales, marketing, education, project management, data analysis, etc., it's common for people to want to send emails to multiple recipients with information that is customized to each. This could be including a recipient's name, a specific status update, or maybe providing a unique discount code. Customization is possible by having every recipient's information stored in a Google Sheet and then clicking a button to run a custom function that sends out the emails. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame tabular beasts into productive applications. In this episode, I will cover Martin Hosky's Mail Merge solution, which helps anyone send emails with customized content from a Google spreadsheet and Gmail. First step is to visit and copy the spreadsheet that is linked in this video's description, which presently lives on the G Suite Solution Gallery. Upon making a copy of that Google Sheet, create a draft message as your email template in Gmail using markers like these, which correspond to column names in the sheet as they indicate text you'd like replaced in the email. Note that you can make multiple email drafts with different formats in Gmail. Then, upon clicking the Mail Merge button in the Google Sheet, you paste the subject line of the desired email draft you would like to use when prompted. This will then send an email to the recipients listed in your sheet in that format. Note that additional columns can also be added to the spreadsheet with other data you would like to use as long as you use the same bracket annotation in your email drafts. Now taking a step back, note that this mail merge is possible thanks to a bit of logic written in the sheet called an app script, and you can visit it by clicking Tools, Script Editor to make any modifications to that script. I would like to highlight two quick things about the script. One is that it uses the Gmail service, which lets you send email, compose drafts, manage labels, mark messages and threads, and conduct a variety of other Gmail account management tasks in an automated way. But keep in mind, there is a daily email quota, which is also linked in the description. Second, it uses the spreadsheet service in order to read and write data from Google Sheets. If you would like to find out more about the coding pattern used to conditionally read and write Google Sheet data, Martin wrote a lovely blog post on this and linked it below. And on a final note, what I most love about this solution is how easily it can be shared with others by copying the Google Sheet and making the appropriate drafts in Gmail for any team to replicate. So please share it with others you think could benefit from this workflow. Hopefully, this summary gave you a better idea of how to send custom emails via a mail merge in Sheets. And community, if you found this episode helpful, please click like and subscribe to the channel for future episodes. Cheers.